There are times you lose a relationship or someone walks out of your life. Sometimes this might be caused by your doings and at other times it is God working in your life. You should know that this is God that orchestrates the people we meet during our lifetime and also the relationship we build and share so he can use it to change the world and make us great people and we know with great assurance and confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us makes all things happen and work together as a plan for good because you are called according to his purpose. There is no coincidence when it comes to the people God places in your life. He is the master planner of all things. There are some people in your life that God does not want to go into the beautiful future he has designed for you. When you are in a relationship with someone and it is not causing you to progress, it is a sign from God that he does not want that person in your life and therefore he will take that person away from you. When a friendship becomes the reason you are not moving forward, you should let go of such friendship. They might be slowing down your progress. When your association with a person seems to be drawing you back or making you stagnant, when being with or being around them is not making you advance and making you miss out on life-changing opportunities, God will bring an end to such friendship or relationship. God has great plans for your life and anything or anyone that seems to hinder you from fulfilling those plans, He will remove them without hesitation. God will make a person leave your life if all they communicate to you is negativity. Communication is the wheel of every relationship. When your communication with someone is not as it ought to be, and the things that are communicated are negative, then that relationship needs to end. The people in your life should be able to guard you to understand what a moral life is. They should encourage you to do godly things and not the opposite. When your association with someone is not fulfilling this purpose, then there is a problem. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. What the people in your life communicate to you is very important. It can either make you or destroy you. In a relationship or friendship where the wrong thing is communicated to you, certainly no value will be added to your life. Such an association does not have anything good to offer you. They will not let the word of God come forth and dwell in you. Your life will not produce good fruit and God's word will not find full expression in your life. You will also not be learning anything good from them. Their company becomes ungodly. If as a child of God, you find yourself in such a relationship, your father will break that relationship for your good. Oftentimes, God removes some people from your life and never brings them back. There are other times he removes someone and brings them back later. He uses that distance to prepare us to receive that person back even in a better way. If the time apart is creating the growth that would be necessary for this relationship to work, it could be a sign that God wants you to apart so he could bring you back. Abraham was ready in the land God promised to give to his children. And God also told him that his children will be sojourners in a strange land as we see in Genesis chapter 15 verses 12 to 14. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, a horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, 
and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and shall they come out with great substance. God took Abraham's children away from the promised land, made them have a series of experiences of the power of God, and built up their faith in God. While they were away from that land, they were multiplied and increased greatly. They were blessed with great possessions. While they were away from the promised land God brought, judgment upon the people that were occupying the land at the time. There are times God takes away a person or something from our lives and brings them back after the right situation or circumstance has been created for us to receive and enjoy that relationship in a better way than we could ever imagine. One sign that a person whom God removed from your life will be restored is if at the time you met or when you were together, one or both of you is not prepared to be in a godly relationship when you are not mature enough to resist the desires to do ungodly things. When two of you genuinely love each other, but you also know that there is some kind of issues in each of yours that will prevent you from honoring God together in that relationship. In such a situation, God can separate both of you and bring both of you back together in the future. At times, the issue is that both of you are too young and you are not individually mature enough in the Lord to be in a serious relationship at that point of your lives. Maturity plays a huge role in every relationship, and when it is missing, God can make both of you part ways to give both of you enough time to grow into maturity and then restore that relationship when you are ready for it at the appropriate time. Songs of Solomon chapter 8 verse 4 says, Promise me, O woman of Jerusalem, not to awaken love until the time is right, young woman of Jerusalem. Therefore there is the right timing for a relationship, and until the time is right, you are both prepared for it. God will not bring you two back together. God can remove someone from your life and bring them back if the distance is being used to make both of you put God before each other. God always wants to take the first place in our lives. He wants to be the priority. Sometimes we do not place God where He ought to be in our life. Other things in our lives goes wrong. When you do not place God, His will and work as a priority in your life, God can break off some relationships to open your eyes to certain things and give you enough time to focus on Him. He wants you to build and have a strong relationship with Him before getting involved in any other relationship. In the end, it is your relationship with God that matters and that is what can help you through trials, challenges, and difficult situations in life and even in other relationships. It is your relationship with God that determines how beautiful or how well your other relationships will be. God can use a period of separation to rededicate your heart to Him so that both of you can be fully committed to Him and His work. God can also separate both of you so that He brings you back and then you can serve Him together in a much better way than before as a couple. God can take a person away from your life and bring them back if the separation was what was needed for both of you to truly and deeply appreciate what you have. There is a saying that you do not value what you have until you lose or are on the verge of losing it. I believe this is so true. As humans, we tend not to see the value of the things we have, and that makes us not appreciate what we have properly. At a time, a loss is needed for you to receive a better gift. 
Sometimes you need to lose something to know how good it was. God could break you two apart so you could see the good in that relationship and not make you focus only on the things that are not working in such a relationship and then bring both of you back in a more healthy way. In conclusion, God knows all things and all He does is for our benefit. When God takes you out of a relationship, He has a good reason for it and if that relationship will be of good to you in the future, you can be sure that He will restore it. Remember that God makes all things beautiful in its time.